Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're taking a look at Twinmotion and I'll do as much as I can to answer several questions that has been asked over within the community and also on various videos. So the very first question is how can you import or you know can you import several files directly in Twinmotion and yes you can so I'm going to make a very simple example so we have this car right here I'm just going to press F to zoom right there and I'll proceed to save this car so if I hit the word save I would go over let's do that in the videos and from here I would choose to save this as TM car so this is going to be the first one and I'm just going to save that right there. I'll create a brand new scene and within this scene, let's say I would need to get ourselves a boss. So I'm just going to drag. No, let's find something that's a bit different from what we have here. Probably we can get a character so we can use an animated character and I'll just simply drag that character right there. Press F on the keyboard to make sure that I have that character. I'm going to rotate the character somewhere. He's tired already. Okay, so I'm just gonna position him right there. So from here, I will also go ahead and save us. And at this point, I just wanna save this as man. Now, this is just, you know, let's just believe hypothetically that you have different files. One file, you have a whole lot of things going on. And another file, you have a lot of things going on. If your PC is good enough to handle several files combined together, then of course you can do that. So if you have the first file open, Let's believe this is the first file you have open. You can simply go over to file and import. All right. And if you go through to import, you can choose to import different things. But this time, the only thing you can import are just basic stuff like, you know, FBX file, SketchUp file, OBJ file, and also your Cinema 40 file. Now, this is when you want to bring in additional things. But if you want to merge two files together, then you need to use the file menu and simply use the word merge. And once you use the word merge, you can open up that particular file that we had. So if we go back to videos where we had the file saved earlier, I can simply get the TM car and I can load this up and this would come in directly here. At this point, it will suggest that you have to save these files. And now I'm just going to save this as car plus man, or just say car man and hit the word save. Sorry, I had to do that and hit the word save. So once this is saved, you can now notice that we have the same, you know, the same car and we also have this other stuff right here. So if this is also what you're trying to create, let's say you want to make multiple stuff. Of course you can. You can actually go ahead and make multiple things. And yes, you can merge two files together. So this is totally up to you and however you want to get this one going. Now, the next one which we're going to look at is a couple of questions that was uh, one other question that was asked. And this question is um does uh, does twin motion have a fountain like lumion unfortunately twin motion doesn't have a fountain like lumion but twin motion does have uh certain things that you can actually throw in so if you go over to the object you can find some particles and you can simply use these you know this sort of particle maybe if this is also what you want let me just simply tone down the day just a little bit so we can see that let it brighten up okay so you can see that let's zoom right there yeah so you can if, if this is maybe something that you're looking for you can have something like this it doesn't really have like you know a pre-designed fountain although you can go over on the internet download a fountain model bring this in and you can simply use this to you know give the idea that that happens and that would actually solve your problem Another question that was asked here is, hi, ask NK. Okay. Uh, how do I make my light not to pass through the wall? Hmm. So for this, I think what the question you're asking about has to do with the spotlight. So I remember we talked about the spotlight and the whole beautiful stuff that you've done with Adam Hayes. So, you know, if you kind of have this, let's also, you know, get another model. So I'm just going to go over to object and from there, get this primitive. And I'm going to use a simple box. So let's use a very tiny box. All right. So let's believe you have a model and your model, you know, is about a certain thickness. I'm just going to go ahead and scale this about this point, about that point, And let's flatten this down. So let's just simply let's let's hypothetically believe that this is your model, right? And you have this beautiful model and your let me just position this right there and you add that maybe the spotlight and after you added the spotlight it turns out that the that the light is passing through and this is crazy you know but don't worry there's a fix for that and the fix is not you raising this up the fix is actually within the attenuation because attenuation is what 
you know controls how far the light travels and you can actually see that from here so if you start pushing the attenuation all the way up you can see the light travels a bit upwards and you can actually push the light just a little bit down so you can push that to the point where you want it to be and you'll be having exactly the you know the feeling of light on the surface but it doesn't pass through the object you can also choose to play with the cone angle as well so that you can get some very good feedback if this is also you know something that you're trying to work on all right so we've gone through with three questions and one other question that was asked is uh pretty cool so i'm just going to answer that and it has to do with my setup okay so for the setup which i'm running right now a huge shout out to nvidia because i'm using an nvidia rtx 5000 which is for the gpu and before then for previous videos that i have recorded that is for twin motion 2019 and you know twin motion 2020 uh before i actually got this present one i was making use of uh well a GTX 640 a GTX 680 yeah I was making use of a GTX 680 and also I was I actually switched that and got a 1060 and I'm working on a desktop that has a 16 gig of RAM and also I'm making use of an i7 there is a paging file of about 40 gig of paging files and that is for the technical guys if you know paging files so I'm making use of a paging file I have an extra space that you know i kind of store stuff and yeah that also works as well so that is ba my basic setup right there there is an i7 the 16 gig of ram there is an rtx 5000 previously before that there was a 680 gtx and there was previously before that uh, after that there was a 1060 so that is uh, basically the setup yeah so the next question that was also asked is um huh okay so this other one is about texturing so at this point i think we need to actually pay some attention to this so for the texturing the question is how do you make things transparent there is already a glass material okay so there is a glass material here let's lose this light so that we can you know focus on that how you can work with this you can actually make use of a glass material so you can go over to glass and pick that material and drop it there it's transparent and with that said there's one more question that we can take for today and that is about the new add-on that we talked about few few days back and that add-on is the building tool so this is the building tool add-on that we talked about in blender and this question is coming from one of these guys that was saying how do you move this to to you know twin motion and of course if you move this to twin motion how can you add the textures onto this so i believe either you're a blender user that is working with twin motion or you're a twin motion user that is getting started working with blender vice versa so how you can do this is you can simply you know create this building yourself then you can add textures you can add textures by yourself and these textures you can choose to select certain parts by using the face select and then you can go over to the material and do that or you can simply use the material section right here and you can select individual parts and once you select them you can assign the material that you want from here now this is going to extremely help you while you're trying to get this thing up and running now once you're done you can always go over to file go over to where you have as export and you can choose to export this as fbx so let's believe that we've done this and this is you know like your amazing piece and what we can do from here is to take this out of you know blender and jump back into twin motion so we are here in twin motion i would simply click on the import button and find where i saved this and i'll go ahead and import this so i guess i saved this somewhere about i don't really know yeah so i think i found it so we can import this building right here and click on okay so once we do that the building gets imported and if i press f on the keyboard actually let's find out where that is yeah so you have to select it from here press f so you can see it now the reason why we gave it different materials is because twin motion in itself kind of assigns material based off the colors that you have or you can go ahead and assign materials based on individual objects so right now that we've assigned these object different materials you can now see that this object is now broken into those materials that we assign them as i mean you can take a look at what it looks like in blender and you can see what it looks like right here so texturing this is going to be extremely easy as we can simply go over to our settings which used to be called the context and you can throw in a little bit of weather you know some clouds right there and then you can go back to where you have the ground let's make a simple man-made ground and plug that there and also proceed to plug that or maybe we can use this yeah so we can plug this one right there and maybe we can also pick up that same material and plug it on the field 
and if you want to make variation changes you can always select this and you can play with the scale if scale is also something of importance to you and from here you can you know select individually the parts where you want so for the door like this i could simply select this door and jump back maybe we want this to be a wooden door i can go over to the part where we have wood and simply replace this door all right you can drop that here as well and i can go ahead and you know let's use this one right there and that looks good we can also change the time of day just to make sure that we see this in its glory okay so with this in mind you can if you if you're thinking about creating an open door you can simply do that in blender and once you do that you can obviously move directly into the rooms into the interior and you know fix all of those parts anytime you're having any of these things happen like that like once you get into the room or you get into your building you see you know the other side it simply means that the material that you're looking at so if i simply zoom out and select this material it's not set to double-sided so you need to actually make sure you have it set to double-sided that is the only way you can uh, see those things work so i'm also going to set this one to double-sided as well and i'm also going to set this one to double-sided as well so with this done it is pretty easy for you to now get into the apartment you know fix things that you have to fix change all of these things and actually get good with it so in this way you can do literally anything that you want so this is definitely going to be about it if there is any more questions you have about twin motion please put them in the comment section uh, at the same time there is a long list of things that we've talked about twin motion previously on the channel so if you're trying to get into twin motion there's a twin motion starter you know beginner course for twin motion 2019 which leads all the way to twin motion 2020 follow the playlist learn something cool and if you have questions about this you have questions about any of the things that we've talked about please put them in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace